Probably stuff like this is important. Yeah. Now you need to make a video so next. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. I need to put it on right. YouTube, man. What's going on, guys? I just wanted to do a real quick video on this. Somebody on the boards online they posted up a question as to where this o-ring should go on the oil filter cap uh, I've got a 2014 model and uh, they they did too uh, basically they were wondering if it went on the flange here like on this lip of the cap or a little bit higher on this get on this gap area the way I do it and it's always worked for me is on this gap area so not here on the flange and I could see why you would think this would work because you're wanting to seal this this cap is designed to seal off that uh, that that hole that cavity uh, where, where the uh, oil filter cap should go uh, so I could see how that, that could be a problem anyway other people were chiming in on the thread saying that oh I better go check mine too because I think I actually have it on the flange so I guess this might be more common than, than you would think um, but uh, yeah so I've always done it uh, one a little bit up higher here in the gap and I was kind of curious about this because I started you know questioning myself I was actually at the uh, the dealership so I went down to the dealer and uh, I asked them to bring out a brand new Mopar uh, 20 in my case 2014 Mopar oil filter cap which comes with the o-ring and sure enough as you can see in this video uh, it it went in this gap so uh, there you guys have it. Just wanted to share that with y'all. Uh, I guess this would be really good if you're new to Jeeps and you're and Maybe it's the first time you're changing your oil and just wanted to double check uh, But uh, all right guys. Well, I will catch you in a little bit Make sure to thumbs up the video and I'll see you in a bit. Peace